Kathy Uying, and I'm a film actress, uh, acting coach, and a film director. I've been acting for over 18 years. I recently just finished my first uh, feature film, directorial debut. I'm in the post-production and our film will come out in December 24th at the theaters. And I've been coaching acting for the last three years and actively keeping the classes and workshops going. And I hope to open more officially an acting studio uh, next year. So I grew up on TEDx. I love TEDx. I love watching TED Talks as I go to sleep. I I'm addicted to TED Talks. So when I found out that TED Talks was happening in Vietnam, uh, I was really curious and I started watching and following and really excited that they're bringing it to Vietnam. And it wasn't until last year when I was a guest speaker for the Forbes Women's Summit uh, and I was on a panel and we were talking about what makes you happy. And um, I got really into sharing about the balance in women's lives between living your individual happiness and also caring for the environment and the surroundings around you. And I met Ngọc An. And she told me, oh, Kathy, we're actually, I'm organizing the TEDx Stakao talks, and I would love to have you on board. And um, I remember that time when she invited me, I was busy in production for the movie. So I said, okay, well, I hope you can invite me again the next time and don't forget me. And here I am. She didn't forget. <laughs> when I was in college, my dream was to be an actress, to be in as, and to star and play as many interesting women character roles as possible. So that was my goal. And when I moved to Vietnam, I continued to pursue that. Um, and it wasn't until then I started producing and realizing I can create my own characters and write my own stories. And I was in the love of doing all the filmmaking because it was so empowering and I was learning so much and challenging myself along the way. And then I realized, how come I'm still not completely fulfilled. There's something missing, I don't know. It, it, there's something missing because sometimes when you do things just for yourself, it, it gets old after a certain time. And so then I started teaching class and I started um, sharing with others what I learned and I realized there was such uh, so much uh, gratification in, in when people learn something that you took for granted, you knew, you thought, oh, this is normal, but to someone else it might be something that really inspires them. My personality is to love overcoming challenges. So when the harder something is, the more I want to achieve it. <laughs> if you, you have a plan, you have a goal, and you have a purpose, then you wake up every day with achieving that one goal in mind. So I think it helps me to give, I, I like living with purpose. I like living with goals. It helps me wake up every day and know what I gotta do. So I started coaching acting three years ago and as time progressed, I started developing my own method to acting uh, called a conscious thought um, method, the ACT method. And I realized that it was helping actors and performers being able to connect their thoughts to their emotion, to, to how to control their emotions when they're performing on stage and how to connect with audiences when they speak to people. And I realized if I'm coaching two actors on how to have a dynamic scene in a movie, it's no different than to human beings having a normal conversation in real life because we all want to connect and all want to have dynamic moments in life and connections. So in my TED Talks, I hope to share my experiences as a, an actress, acting coach, and film director uh, and share my techniques on acting to everyday people for them to feel that they too can relate and utilize these skills of acting in their everyday human connections and expression of emotions.